GenSpark AI Slides Tutorial for Beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. Are you looking to create your own AI slides using GenSpark? Then you can get started right away and all you need is an email address. So to get started with building your own AI slides using GenSpark, simply head on over to GenSpark.ai. I'll show you guys an example of some of the slides that we have created and we're going to be moving forward in building our brand new slides using GenSpark. So these are the types of slides you can create without having to do any of the manual work yourself. Now go into genspark.ai and sign up using your email address. Then simply click on AI slides and you can enter your slide request here. Or you can also click on AI slides on the left and then this is the AI slides mode. On the bottom you also have new chat so I am going to start with our brand new chat and I'm going to type in my prompt. I want to create a visually engaging slide deck explaining the job characteristics theory. The slide should be suitable for. Now I want the color theme of the slides should be pastel pinks, peach, pinks and peach. The title slide should include this. We have the core job dimensions and all of the different slides that I want. Once I've done that, I'm going to put in this prompt and what it's going to do is that it's going to research on the things I have asked and then it's going to start adding that content. So we are going to have to purchase credits, obviously. Now we can even proceed with a free search and you will get a free search with this. And with your free search, you will have a direct answer via AI, but we are going to be creating slides instead by purchasing some new credits. So right now the AI model is going to be researching upon this topic and you guys can see it's gathering some visual content first to enhance the presentation and then after that it is going to create our professional slide deck based upon the different elements that we want to include and right now it is still thinking and it has decided on building seven slides. Now once it starts building your slides it will have three tabs on the right. So first off, it will have a thinking tab, then a coding tab, and then a preview tab. So first it creates the basic idea and it does that in a English language. Then it codes that idea and then you get a preview. So your preview is of your actual slide. Now the slide that this is going to generate is going to be editable. You don't have to worry in case anything is not to your personal preferences. You can always, always edit that however you want. So you guys can see this is actually really nice. Now I might not want these logos, so I will be editing them later on. And I'm going to wait until these slides are generated so I can show you guys the final product that is going to be created. So we're going to have seven different slides. This can take upwards of like 10 minutes. So we are going to skip ahead and we're going to move forward towards our complete slides. So now within a couple of minutes, our slides have been created and now let's take a look at all of our slides. Starting off, we can click on view and export on the top right. And once you click on view and export, you can view your slides and you even have a short view over here so you can get started with fact checking your content and editing your content. But this is the full screen view so this is our first slide then after that this is our second slide we have key principles theory structure then we have the core dimensions then we have critical psychological states then we have work outcomes performance links motivating potential score and real world application case studies so just like so we have our slides ready now i can click on play slides to just play my slides like i would any regular slideshow and then i can also click on publish to publish them this allows you to open your slides from anywhere so if you are going to college or if you are looking to present your slides later on you can just copy and paste the link and you can also click on export and export this as a pdf so you can download this either as a pdf or a ppt and not only do you have the ability to create these presentations but you can go into the top right and edit these presentations in canva or figma now i'm going to download this pdf like so and just like that we have a brand new presentation that is filled with information however how can you edit this presentation because sometimes you might have your own elements that you want to include so if you are someone that wants to edit you can go back into your dashboard then within your dashboard where you generated your slides 
you are just going to go on ahead and click on select to edit and you can directly edit from your GenSpark AI prompt builder. So you can click on select to edit. Let's say I want to remove this icon. So I'm just going to click and then delete, click and then delete, click and then delete. If I want to edit the text, let's say instead of overview, I just want to write something else. So I can just click on it and then on the left, this will show me the text edited option. So let's say within this, I want to write introduction like this and then I can also choose the font that I want to be using here like so and then after I choose my font I can choose the font size as well so if I want to oversize it if I want to decrease the size whatever I prefer we can do that and we can also customize the color we can underline it italicize it or add a strike through through it so this is up to your personal preferences you can choose the alignment as well and once you do that you can you know further edit any other element now these are not fully editable elements i cannot necessarily drag and drop any element but i am able to edit these elements if you do want to do a drag and drop edit you can export this to canva which will give you full capabilities in drag and drop edits as well now ai slides are just one feature that is present in genspark genspark ai has a super agent which allows you to create anything you want you are able to upload files build lists extract data as well as generate images and videos you can see you have ai sheets specifically which can help you in finding valuable data you also have ai chat for regular chatting and then you have all agents which includes their super agent downloaded for me deep research tools call for me which can help you in booking tables, making appointment calls, and all of those things that you don't like to do. Uh, you also have a fact checker, so anything you have researched or added in your slides or sheets can easily be fact checked. Below that, you have your basic agents. This is a mixture of agent systems. So you have your image studio, video studio, and then a translation studio, all powered by multiple different AI agents. Now, once you have taken a look at GenSpark, you might be wondering what exactly is the pricing? So you get 200 free credits per day on their free version. Then on their monthly billing version, you can pay $24.99 for their plus plan and then $249 for their pro plan. Now, their plus plan provides you with 10,000 credits a month and unlimited AI chat with zero credit cost. And then the pro version provides you with 125k credits per month you have access to all of their ai agents with 50 gigabytes of uh, with 50 gigabytes of storage with ai drive with the plus version and one terabyte of storage with their ai drive premium so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with slide generation and using genspark ai if you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, you guys can leave those in the comments down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.